Hello, Marco. I know y'all probably wondering, why has he got his wiener and his giblets all wrapped up in a cast? Me and my wife decided we was gonna get a little bit more freaky in the bedroom, make things a little bit more interesting. So she went out there and got me a penis pump off the interwebs. Told me the other night when she got off work, she said, hey, I want you to have that thing ready. Get that penis pump out and start pumping that thing. So I got that penis pump out, but not only did I use that wiener pump, I took a Viagra that my buddy had given me a while back. I thought, hey, what better combination than a Viagra and a wiener pump get that thing massive so we can make good love in the night. So I took that Viagra and I started pumping away at that thing. And about 10 pumps into it, I started getting real lightheaded. All the blood was going from my head to my head. And I kept on the pumping, cause the more I pumped, the bigger that thing got. And I was getting all excited like a kid with a new toy, you know. About 15 pumps in, it started hurting a little bit. And I said, all right, I'm gonna pump this thing one more time. Just one more, and I'm done. And I went to pump that thing, and I heard something go, like that. I sucked my giblets up in the waiter pump. So not only did I have my waiter in there, my giblets was stuck in there too. And I got so scared and freaked out that when I went to hit that pressure release valve, I broke it. So my waiter and my giblets were just stuck. My dang dang and my, my balls were stuck in there together and I couldn't pull them out. Every time I'd go to pull, that thing just stretch. My waiter looked like a stretch Armstrong doll. Every time I'd pull it, it just kept going with it. I was scared to death. My wife come walking in, here I am butt naked with a waiter pump stuck to me. Crying. She's like, what are we gonna do? We're gonna have to call the ambulance. I'm like, we, we're not calling the ambulance. I'm not letting the EMS come pick me up and be, be nude with a waiter pump stuck to me. That's gonna make the headlines in the news. I took a hammer, I walked over to the table, laid my wiener up on the table, and I, she's like, uh-uh, don't do that. Don't do that. You know, I was frantic, I was freaking out. She's like, you're gonna hurt your member and then you ain't never gonna get to use it again. I'm like, oh, you're right, you're right, I can't do that. So she cut a hole out of a pair of pajamas for me, and made me look a little bit more suitable, and drove me to the ER. I get to the ER, and everybody's staring at me. You know, you got little kids, and mama's covering her eyes and stuff, I feel horrible. They get me back there in the ER room, and the doctor, walks in, he's laughing at me. The nurses walk in, they laughing, and they're like, all right, we're gonna have to pull this thing off. I'm like, I've tried to do that. You can't pull a wiener pump off, it's stuck. So they pull it, it didn't go. Pull it again, they didn't come, and one of the nurses says, you know what, me and my husband, we use KY jelly all the time. It'll get you into tight places, and it'll get you out of it. So they started squirting that lube up in that wiener pump, and they gave it one good pull. Pulled that wiener right on out of there. I was so happy. I thought it was all over, and that doctor said, man, that wiener ain't gonna go down no time soon. Your wiener's gonna be hard for about a month. A month? How am I supposed to be walking around with a Woody for a month? He said, we're gonna have to put it in a cast. So they had to cast my wiener. Look, this is just a warning to all y'all fellas out there. Don't take a Viagra and use a penis pump, all right? It's a horrible idea.